The war in Syria is taking a serious toll on women. According to a new report by the nonprofit group Human Rights Watch, women and girls are being seriously abused. The United Nations says it will review the situation. CCTV's Nick Harper has more from you on headquarters in New York. The report makes for shocking reading. It details the personal testimonies of 17 Syrian women who've had to endure more than three years of fighting. Human Rights Watch, a group that advocates for human rights around the world, has the women tell in their own words how they were arrested, detained, sexually and physically abused and even tortured. It says that these acts were carried out by both the Syrian government and opposition forces. One woman, a 19-year-old university student, says that she was tortured with electric shocks. Another woman has been left paralyzed after she was shot by a sniper while she was out grocery shopping. And another tells how she lost four of her five children in a barrel bomb attack and is now living as a refugee in Turkey. Of course, Human Rights Watch is making the point that it's not just these women. They're being used as an example of the conditions all women in Syria are facing. The report says these women, quote, have not been spared any aspect of the brutality of the Syrian conflict. The United Nations is meeting in Geneva on Friday to review the situation for women in Syria, but Human Rights Watch wants the UN Security Council to do more. It wants it to impose an arms embargo and targeted sanctions on Syria, as well as referring the conflict to the International Criminal Court. However, a resolution on that ICC referral failed back in May, when both Russia and China vetoed the vote. All of this comes on the same day the United Nations is warning refugee numbers could rise dramatically, from the current 2.9 million to more than 3.5 million by the end of this year. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Antonio Guterres, says security in Lebanon, which already hosts more than a million refugees, is being threatened, and the rising refugee numbers could destabilize the entire region. Nick Harper, CCTV. New York.